Cool. Is that the first pressing of Walkamon? Yeah, it is. Isn't that killer? That's awesome. It's also cracked, somebody dropped it. What's up with this internet shit? Scramble TV. I'm sitting here with the downtown club. Tell us a little bit about yourselves, how you guys formed, and you know, what's the story of the downtown club? Travis and I have known each other for a while. We actually met at North Pole in Northern Liberties. He was the DJ. We both knew we liked to play music and started playing then. I guess it was about four years ago. The three of us have been playing a little over a year now. A year and a half, yeah. About a year and a half, yeah. Um, Dan and Travis knew each other through the moving companies or just from... <laughs> yeah, we knew each other from school. Yeah, we were school, working together. We were temple, together. temple work. I mean, we started rehearsing in my really scary basement. <laughs> it was really scary. Yeah, I had to go really through creepy. his kitchen actually, floor to get Actually, there is actually a coal chamber down there that looks like a cell. It's it. really weird. But uh, then we actually, <laughs> we, we kind of took a step up and got a, we got a warehouse space on in uh, North Philly. Want to you know get your opinions as far as you know what uh, what do you think uh, some of your influences are as far as the downtown club? I mean, me personally, I I, I mean I really feel like yeah, I think April's vocals are amazing. It's not, I really like bands like Susie Sue and the Cockatoo Twins, and I think the dance dance drumming is really like it's like it's really dance oriented stuff. So anything that has like bands like ESG or you know, Gang of Four, like they have really amazing rhythm sections. So and I really find that the two of them. These guys like really you know bring close to my heart like the music that I really love. We picked out a few of the tunes that we really enjoy, like the damn, the misfits as well, you know. But really, for our standpoint, we love anything that like fucking rocks. Oh, he said, wow. it. he said it. He's I right. it. sucking rocks, by the oh, way. Oh, I knew he was saying that. It's rocks. You have to understand, suck. Travis needs one of those buttons oh, at man. all times of life. I'm being too relaxed here. I really <laughs> should have been like, oh, oh goodness cute. gracious. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you didn't curse at all, though. You said sucking rocks. Yeah. guys up to right now then do you guys have any shows coming up or you know any new recent releases or anything along those lines what do we got coming up we got uh september. there's a show on september 22nd september 22nd we have uh coming for the necktie i unfortunately won't be there so they're gonna have a different drummer as they cycle through drummers <laughs> <laughs> for future shows uh after that point probably in october we're coming a single in the early december oh yeah with That's the guy bad. The guy, recorded our, the guy who recorded our first record is Ziggler, Jeff Ziggler, and he uh, did Kurt Vile's record, War on Drugs. Oh, okay. One of the things, Arkin Round, his own yeah. project, and A School. But um, we're gonna go back, go back in December to cut a single.
guys were saying you also had uh, an EP, I guess. You guys recorded that a little while ago, I guess, but you're getting back into the studio, which is always good news, always fun stuff. Yes, <laughs> yes getting some, some... It's funny how you record and then it finally comes out and you feel like you're moving towards another sound, you're moving towards another point in the band. So then you listen to the stuff you recorded and it's like, wait, I gotta go back in and do this new like thing. So, you know, it's, it's good that we're going in because I think our sound is starting to evolve and change and really come together. Us, like uh, our goals right now would be support work for like any, like any more national accent. I would not mind sleeping in a gross, <laughs> stinky van. Uh, like uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I'm about you guys. Like truck stops. Where do you go? Outside of red, red, red Bulls. Stop it. Travis should stop talking because I keep taking some thoughts. <laughs> <out. laughs> and we're just gonna not be ever allowed to do anything yeah, like this again. My bad. <laughs> That sounded effing awesome. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to like guilt trip him now. Yeah, Travis yeah, is yeah, getting yeah. in trouble yeah, now with it. me. I, see oh, <laughs> man. I got a sailor's mouth. <laughs>